Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals! And for this very special episode, we will be featuring the LEGO Cosmic Jurassic World Dominion Moros Intrepidus. This is in collaboration with Ibitoy Universe, so check out this channel as well. But before that, happy birthday to Bandan! Happy birthday, and here now are the winners of the Guesses PC Contest. Let's start with the lucky pick, shall we? Auto MCX, Terry Rexy, Shy Voon, Blooded Shadow, Gabriel Elkins, Zacchaeus, Aiden, Victor, Greddy, Rainmark. Congratulations, everyone, and now for our top 10 winners. Sorry, the MR Terrizinosaurus. Game Legend. Top 9. Dino Beast. Clucky Lego. Top 7. Ender Bro MB54. Top 6. Gigar Raptor. Top 5. Ellie Jorigal Korea. Top 4. Rikozilla 12. Top 3. Colton Todd. Top 2. And before we head on to number 1, please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And number Top one, one. Cretaceous Bricks. Congratulations, everyone. And I'll see you in the next Guesses PC contest. For those of you who would like to join, here's how. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage. And in the homepage, just click on the community link and it will lead you to all our posts. Okay, so let's now begin with the making of the Jurassic World Dominion Morals Intrepidus. So, I have here a model of my first uh, Moros and here now I made it a little bit smaller but still articulated somehow. So, you have here several pieces of that small little pieces. I, I have repositioned them in such a way that it will complement the actual body type of the Moros Intrepidus. As you can see here, it's much much smaller now compared to my previous Moros Intrepidus. And if we compare now with our minifigure, as you can see here, here's Eevee. It's now about, uh, I guess, the right size compared to a, uh, an actual Moros. Now we're going to um, sculpt on this one using this Pioneer non sag Epoxy. And uh, here it is. So we just need a few more details on this one, especially sculpting some details on the head. Uh, we have here incorporated some feathering details on the body as well as that of the tail. I have also added here some spike details on the uh, neck area uh, coming in from the back section of the neck and then of course on the tail area as well. Several more details were added here before we start off with the paint and of course we will be using several more several sizes of brushes, water and some acrylics over there. So we start by Painting in the entire creature with white. So this is just uh, a white um, watered down uh, acrylic paint and we're painting it on the entire figure. It takes about two or three coats of the white uh, to make it uh, a uniform opaque, big, uh, opaque uh, appearance such as this one. Right, so now we're adding in some more colors on our Moros and Prepides. This is a mixture of gray and a little bit of uh, blue and some um, some browns in it. So uh, we're going to paint this on areas of the legs as well as that of the arms. Now using the same colors earlier on we added some more white and now uh, a little bit more of the browns here. So we're painting it strategically on the body of the Moros Intrepidus, including that of the neck and also the uh, areas of the tail. Carefully, I wanted to include uh, some of the crevices here because this is more of the darker colors. Later on, we'll be painting in some more uh, details of white over it because uh, the Moros Intrepidus is basically white feathered in the movie. Right, so here we have a darker shade uh, of the colors here and we just added in some more black. Right. 
So painting on the entire face of course. Once that is already dry, we move on with the same colors here on the shoulder parts of the Moros Intrepidus. The shoulders has this particularly dark color to it but not every every part of it is actually uh, painted so I, I'm trying to make some feathering details as much as possible as early as, as early as now. Now that everything is actually dry, we now place in the white details on the brown uh, colors here on the Morris Intrepidus as you can see here. I tried to do a dabbing motion of the fine brush so that it would look somehow intentional that these are actually feathered um, details, such as what you see here on the other side. And now for some more details on the face area of the Morris Intrepidus. So the eye area of the Morris has that um, turkey-like Appearance, which is a reddish coloration of scales so first up we uh, added in this white colors so that the red will actually appear vibrant so once this is dried we can now put on the red colors as you can see here so carefully doing it because uh, the red would actually smudge on uh, some parts of the um, Moros Intrepidus, so we're trying as much as possible to be as careful as uh, as much as we can so that we don't mess up the colors. And we're just going to finish it off with some more details. And that about ends our tutorial on our Moros Intrepidus. I hope you enjoyed this one guys and learned something from it as well. And now for some Dino Trivia. Morris represents the earliest known diagnostic tyrannosaurid material from the Cretaceous of North America by a margin of about 15 million years. And now, let's move along with a closer look. Hello everyone, and of course, Mora here is back to be showing you our uh, latest creation for today. This is the Moros Intrepidus from Jurassic World Dominion. As you may have remembered from last time, I actually did a Moros Intrepidus that is actually based off from the prologue, which is quite larger than what I have because uh, apparently at that time I don't know or I don't have yet the idea to make a smaller uh, minifigure. But now, here it is, our Moros Intrepidus. Moira will be coming back later for some size comparison, so I'll see you there later, Moira. Right, so our Moira's Intrepidus, you can see here, has a lot of detail uh, for a um, uh, for a mini figure or for a mini, uh, yeah, for a mini figure for its size. As you can see here, it has one stud on the uh, topmost portion here. Uh, the the arms are, are rather uh, from a, a separate figure. The legs are a mixture of the figure that I had for the arms and also the head and also the the head of this one and the legs and over uh, the thighs here are actually from the uh, mini figure that I have lying around excuse me so um, the details on the paint is quite you know um, uh, not that much to be honest but I tried uh, a different way of how I would like to um, you know show you and also um, uh, give it the idea of feathering details all over the body even though it's quite small so as you can see here I have painted it in a way wherein uh, the browns are, uh, uh, are the first colors and then I overlaid them with white so, so here is our Morris Intrepidus there are also some uh, sculpting uh, details on the head that I made here to make it more like the uh, Moros in the movie. Also several details here on spikes on the back and also on the tail. So the Moros here actually doesn't have a lot of articulation to be honest but uh, at least it's not stationary it, it can actually move its legs like so. Yes. So uh, those are the only articulations that I have for the Moros. And that's it for the closer look on our Mars Tripodis. We will now move on with the next portion of this video.
This is size comparisons. Alright, so my right here is back for some size comparisons and as you can see here, uh, based off the photo here, uh, the Moros and Crepitus that I have here is quite, you know, the okay size for, uh, for, its, for its own species. However, in Jurassic World Dominion, it's much smaller but you know what, I wanted to make it as detailed as, as I can. So, it's not as small as that one. So, here are Moros and Crepitus. So let's now compare with other creatures uh, that are also small that I made before, which are actually um, also carnivores, right? So let's start with let's start with I guess um, the smallest one. This is the Consignatus. So I have here three Consignatuses. I can't quite find the other one. Uh, I think I have four or five of these, so here are my consignatus. I would want to, you know, maybe someday create or recreate uh, a more less a cartoony version of these um, uh, soon. But hey, uh, for now, it's uh, they, they still work. They are still working for uh, for me in terms of design, so I'm not gonna change them for now. Now let's now move along with another small uh, carnivore. Here is our Archaeopteryx. Oops. Our Archaeopteryx here is much smaller also with compared to our Mars Antipodes. And uh, it's actually based off from uh, that character in He-Man, Masters of the Universe, in terms of colors. I know our um, Archaeopteryx has a typical color black color but that you'll see here on our next comparison which is the micro raptor there you go our micro raptor the micro raptor has several fine details here so you can see it has wings on the arms and also wings for the legs and it has those two bifurcated feathers on the end of the tail so that is our micro raptor so if you haven't seen this a particular video yet on the micro raptor please check it out guys it's a cool video and you might want to have these also added to your collection of lego customized dinosaurs okay so let's move along with the next one this is the baby junior t-rex so they actually both use the same um, base figures and uh, as the moral centripetus is actually one of the relatives cousins of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, maybe I should also be making this one based on this latest design which actually stands well. This one doesn't, probably the angle of the legs here were not quite suitable for that. I'll be probably just uh, redoing this uh, and make a short video out of it. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comments below. Right, so uh, moving along with the next one, this is our... Um, uh, what do you call this? Our um, Ornitholestes. Yeah, I almost forgot. Thank you, Mike from Uncle Uncle Mike from EB Toy Universe for reminding me. <laughs> so this is uh, uh, quite also um, a stunning creation of mine from before. It is also uh, not articulated. Uh, won't be making another one of these. Probably this can be just accents to one of my dioramas. Um, so yeah. That's it guys, uh, another one would be the Guan Long. Here's the Guan Long. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite mini uh, minis figures, the Guan Long. It's very colorful, you can see here the head was quite painted in a way that is that will contrast that of the body and also the head. So, uh, Guan Long guys, if you guys haven't seen the video yet, please check it out, it's a cool video. One of the scariest dinosaurs actually in um, Jurassic Park uh, canon would be this one. This is the Trodon Pectinodon. So the Trodon Pectinodon here has those glowing eyes, a weird, you know, um, a reddish underbelly over here, and black and white stripes. So that is the uh, Trodon Pectinodon, guys. Please. Look for its video. Uh, I'll also be putting in the uh, link to the video of this one, so check it out, guys. 
here is the Solaris. The Solaris one is the, the white. The reason why I made this is because I like the colors of the Solaris. It has this pink and uh, green stripes to it. I like the contrasting colors, but uh, I don't know if I did uh, a, a good job in terms of you know um, sculpting the head. It's not it's not as you know accurate as the actual um, Mattel figure, but hey, that is my Solaris for you guys. And then of course, uh, least but uh, I would like to um, compare this one, of course, with my previous Moros Intrepidus. So here it is. It's quite big to be honest, it's as big as a raptor as you can see here. So that is why I'm actually uh, looking forward to making this one. Which is more of a smaller uh, smaller build of Moros Intrepidus. So which one do you like what better guys? This one from Prologue or my new Moros Intrepidus? Alright, so that's it for these size comparisons. I hope you enjoyed this one. We can now move along with... Stingwitz PC Local and we have here all the creatures that I've shown here so far if you do have other comments or also suggestions of other creatures that you'd like to see here on Extinguix, please comment them down below. I'd like to read on all your comments and also see what other suggestions that you have. Also, more here would like to remind you guys that all that you see here is actually available in our Extinguix playlist. But I'll be placing in individual links of all that you see here so that you won't have to go through all 300 and plus videos that I have done so far here on the channel. Right, so let's now begin with the Extinct Bridge PC Roll Call. Starting here from the far mouse uh, side here, this is our Extinct Bricks Ornitholastis. This is our Extinct Bricks One Long. This is our Extinct Bricks Trodon Pectinodon from Jurassic Park Game. This is our Extinct Bricks Silo uh, Comsignatus. This is our Extinct Bricks Micro Raptor. This is our Extinct Bricks Forest Encryptus from Jurassic World Dominion Prologue. This is our Extinct Bricks Archaeopteryx. Extinct Bricks Baby Tyrannosaurus Rex or Junior. We have here our Extinct Bricks Solaris Base Up from Jurassic World Battle Toy. And of course, to start the show here, this is our Extinct Rix Jurassic World Dominion Moros and Tripides. And that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and also learned something from it as well. If you'd like to make your own um, uh, costumes, if you have questions also, please comment them down below on our comment section. I'll be putting in an extra um, a video clip of the Moros and so please check them out guys. And don't skip on the ads. Thanks! Ooh, remember this scene, guys? I think Gigantosaurus needs a little bit of help from our Moros Intrepidus here. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. And for all your likes, your views, and your shares, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. That means thank you so much everyone. Also, please do not forget to support our other channels in Vito Universe and the Adventures of Moira and Lasher. Please watch their videos and support our channel by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar! Thanks everyone and bye!